a lovely city, isn't Great, it? Yeah. yeah. What about yeah. yourself? Have you been here long? I came on Friday, in fact. So I've had a few days. It's been really nice. How's, really the, nice. how's the day going in general? It's good. Today is good. It's the last day. Yeah. So there's that. And it, the third day does get a little, you know, your head starts to think, what am I saying? You know, I can only imagine, yeah. Did I say that before? You know, yeah. What the fuck? And the boys are very difficult here, these yeah. guys. <laughs> They look like a PNBR, sorry. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's it. That guy, we're going to follow him out. <laughs> Ariel, first of all, it's a pleasure to meet you, sir. I know you were in Dublin recently. I never got a chance to speak to somebody else at the interview. Yeah. But um, kids' movie, it's a very kids' movie, but it's a lot of fun. G-forces. Yeah. Is that what you were thinking when you signed on? This could be something nice, it could be something yeah. fun, a role yeah. you can have a laugh with? Yeah, absolutely. It's just a good script. It was a really good script. It's Jerry Bruckheimer project so you figure you you have confidence from the beginning that it'll be delivered in great shape yeah. and uh, yeah there's nothing wrong with it it's completely you know it's rare that you get things that are uncomplicatedly okay yeah. you just think this is fine I don't mind what genre it is or what the target audience is as long as it it exhibits a certain degree of quality and this is of the highest kind and if you want a big fat family summer movie you know it's, it's gonna, pretty it's good going. Be fun. Yeah. But of course you've worked with Jerry before on the Pirates movies yeah so are you very much aware of the type of production that it's going to be going into it? Like, and is it a, is there a similar um, feeling on set that's this kind of organized chaos that it has to be with this with such a you know such a big movie? So many, it's so very action. organized. It's very organized, and a lot of the same people. So I knew quite a lot of the people because they were all the pirates people. And Jerry has a quite a you know a, a tight outfit, and a very you know uh, hip team. And so I you know there were a lot of familiar faces, yeah. and they you know and they're all v deeply you know good at it. So uh, it was a pretty smooth shoot. Yeah. And Hyde as well. Hyde's a first time director. We saw yeah. an incredibly slick job here. Oh, How was he with yourself? Like obviously he was, you've he was great. Many films and stuff. So. No, he was absolutely great. I'm quite uh, up with first time directors. I've worked yeah. with quite a few. Underworld was a first time director. Len Wiseman at yeah. that time. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Shaun of the Dead. And this. And there are others that I can't remember. But they're uh, really good for some. But, but they're not bad. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I've been. I've had a very good, uh, fortunate time. And Hoyt was great. I mean, in, in, uh, obviously, technologically, I mean, I think he is officially a genius. I mean, he's, yeah, he's done effects, you know, yeah. everything. His CV is incredible. And he's worked with some of the great directors. You know, he's worked with Steven Spielberg and all kinds of people. So he's obviously been paying attention. But he's, he's actually, in, the, in terms of the nuts and bolts of communicating as a director, he's really, really good. And he's very, he can actually help and tell you, you know, how to schedule the information and how to, uh, you know, kind of uh, the, the size of performance that's required at any given moment, you know, yeah. and telling the story. Is that a, a ma that's obviously a massive thing for, for you and any movie. The director can, can, can communicate here, communicate yeah. his vision yeah. cohesively. That makes things that, that, that much easier, yeah? Yeah, I rely on the director enormously. Yeah. And I like being directed. I'm not, I know there are actors who don't like that. They don't take too much direction. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I can't, you can't give me too much direction. Yeah. I, I, you know, I, I like being told what to do. Yeah. I like it if somebody says, go there, do that, and say that, I'm happy. But you've only, say the last few years, you've really started pushing on with the American films. You've had a long and incredibly successful career already in the UK. What was it, at what point did you go, okay, or did, did Hollywood just come looking? Well, what happened, was, what happened was, I was in a Richard Curtis movie. Yeah. I was in Love Actually, and I, and I had a very good part. Yeah. And more people probably saw me, almost definitely saw me in Love Actually, than had seen me in everything else I'd ever done for the whole of my career. <laughs> So over a period of about six months, suddenly, uh, you know, everybody could nearly pronounce my name, you know what I mean? And in, uh, and in America, which makes a big, big difference. Yeah. And I never expected that to happen. It wasn't anything that, uh, you know, uh, there was no plan or anything. It was kind of the perfect comic part. It was. Yeah. And also, it's an old rocker. And yeah. people like old rockers. And, and, and it's a universal figure. You know, people are familiar on both sides of the... Or all over the world, they know about old rockers. And they're a new genre of character, because rock and roll is yeah, it's only timeless. just getting old. So, uh, yeah, so I, I benefited from some of that affection. And you were in Ireland, of course, for, for the boat that rocked. Yeah. Did you have any time to relax while you were in Ireland and enjoy yourself, or was it just work? Because I know it was a big It was jungle. mostly work, but I did get to walk around the city. I know Dublin quite well. I've worked there before. I've shot things there. Uh, my daughter was briefly at Trinity College there for okay. a while. And uh, so I visited a few times, and I love Dublin, and, I, and, you know, and I, am, I am sort of Irish. I mean, you know, my mother's side of the family are basically Irish. So uh, uh, I feel connected there. A certain affinity with the place. I do feel, so. you know, I have yeah. relatives in Ireland, and I feel kind of, and I'm interested in Ireland in terms of literature and in terms of, uh, you know, the country as a whole. Okay, well, Bill, thank you so much for your time, sir. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you. My pleasure. Thank you, Bill. Lovely to meet you. Am I going under? Am I going under? <laughs>